Now there's one problem with the method that we've met so far for writing down an equation from a table. And it's this. What if we can't see the value of b in our table? What if we have an example like our pizza example? In this table, we can't see the value of d when p equals zero. And the reason we can't see that is, well, okay, how much does the pizza place charge you if you don't buy any pizzas? Well, nothing. You're not buying anything from them. So that value, p equals zero, it doesn't really make sense in this story. But it's mathematically useful. By mathematically useful, we mean we can put it into an equation, even if the resulting number doesn't really mean anything. In this case, we want to know what d is when p equals zero, because that'll let us write our equation. We see what the pattern is, right? When p goes up by 1, d goes up by 5. But let's run that backward. If p goes down by 1, if I buy one less pizza, what happens to the amount I have to pay? Well, it goes down by 5. I can use that information to add a row to my table. If p goes down by 1, d goes down by 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. So we see that when p is 0, d is 7. Even though that doesn't make sense in the story, it makes sense mathematically. So m, that's the change in d over the change in p. So that's just 5. b is the value of d when p is 0. So that'll be 7. And we get the cost is 5 times the number of pizzas plus 7.